Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new Dark Souls 3 video. Today we're going to be doing the 7th, no sorry, 8th part of our 100% walkthrough in Dark Souls 2. So today we're going to be getting all the items and all the secrets in Smoldering Lake, which is an optional area. If you don't know how to get here, I did do a separate video on that, which I'll leave in the description. And yeah guys, so um, this place is actually a lot bigger than you may think it is. Uh, there's a few really cool hidden walls and secrets in this place, so yeah, so... Uh, I thought I'd tackle this uh, in the following way. I'd go to the start, then clear everything to the left, uh, then go back to the start, and then go to the right and kind of join up at the same bonfire because it kind of made sense. So, yeah, this is probably the most dangerous way of doing it because you've got to kill this giant worm at the start. But uh, with the help of uh, the giant arrows and a bit of luck, you should be able to do it. Um, because it's not really that aggressive, I mean... Sometimes you get lucky enough where you can get away with killing him without him even attacking you. So, yeah, just uh, hit him a few times. I think I got my my sword at plus six at this point, maybe. Or plus seven. I, I think it's plus six. I think it's plus seven once I finish this uh, place. So, yeah, it's probably plus six. And it didn't take that long to kill him. So, yeah. So, we're not going to go into the boss room. Uh, instead of that, we're going to come up to the right up this hill where there's also an item at the end. Which is another large Titanite Shard. We're going to be getting a lot of large Titanite Shards, so you can probably level it up to plus... No, so I think I made a mistake before. I think you'd probably be able to level up to plus 6, so I probably had it at plus 5. Because I think to get it to plus 7, you need uh, chunks. But anyway, that's a different story. So uh, we're going to go back to the start once we've lit the bonfire to the right of the boss. Pick up these two clear items to the right of the path. Uh, now we're going to stick to the right-hand side wall. Uh, until we get to this cave. So remember on last episode when we were uh, talking about Anri and how she was looking for a companion? Well, this is where our companion's going to be. So uh, there's a crystal lizard there too, I believe. More than one, actually, by the looks of things. But yeah, uh, this is where our companion's going to be. And he's going to be um, crazy or he's not a good guy anymore. Something weird's happened to him. Or maybe it's just plain pissed off. I don't know. But uh, anyway, you can we can kill him and get his shield. If you did happen to go back to Anri and tell her where he was or is, if you didn't kill him, she'll come down here and die. So uh, if you want to do her quest line, you shouldn't do that. I believe if, if you get her to come down here and she dies, then she'll just give you her sword, I believe. But anyway, there's three more items in there at plain sight. Nothing too hidden at the moment. Uh, coming out of the cave, now we're going to head to the right. Uh, there's going to be maybe seven crabs around this area. Seven or eight crabs. Uh, I cleared them all out, just about, maybe. <laughs> I think I cleared them all out anyway after a few attempts. But yeah, just stick to the right, uh, to the right-hand side wall. And in this far corner, there's going to be a chaos gem, which is the only item the crabs are really guarding. Uh, if you don't really want to kill the crabs or risk it, that's all you're missing. Uh, but you can probably still get it pretty easy if you if you just run past them anyway, so yeah. Uh, coming over here near this tree, still sticking to the right hand side wall. This item is actually guarded by a broken wall that you've got to get the arrows to hit. So uh, it's really easy, just stand by it, dodge a bit and the arrows will break. I think even when the arrows hit you, the blast zone of it will actually still break it. So, um, yeah, I kind of did it by accident the first time I did it. So, yeah, don't worry about it too much. So, the next thing we want to do is turn around and go to the center of the map on this piece of land of slabs that you can clearly see it's meant to be broken. All you have to do is stand on it and get a giant arrow to hit it and it will crack open. I already had it open because I needed to clear the enemies out. Uh, so, yeah, so once you're down here, you can only go left or right. Uh, one of them takes you to a dead end, which I believe is the left. And if we continue to the right, we will get to um, a place where we can go right or left. Uh, first, we're going to go right and get this Pyromancer Tome. And now we're going to return and go left into this room with a bonfire. So once we've rested the bonfire, we can um, technically, if you don't know about Hidden Wall, we can only go down. So we're going to do that first. And we're going to go over here to the right. Uh, this is actually a square room um, where where really you can't get lost in this room this room as soon as you get into this room you're like huh where do i go next but it's actually really simple so there's an ember down that's the only item we're going to we're going to be getting around here uh and yeah like i say it's just a square room with one exit over here to the right so we're going to go through there it's nothing in this little room and uh we're going to get to this place so 
Um, I'm going to call this place in front of us the fire room just because it's got loads of fireballs and we're going to be coming back there about two or three times so just how you, so you have a reference room. So yeah, we're going to be going back there later. Um, so the opposite end of this um, alleyway, we're going to have a hidden door or an illusionary wall uh, with a black knight in it. I didn't really bother hanging around. I just picked up the sword and got the fuck out of there because look at my health. No Estus after clearing this giant place out. So yeah. Uh, so now we're going to head all the way back to the bonfire because there's nothing left we can do down there. And uh, like I said, this is a hidden wall. This one here opposite the bonfire. So break that and come through here. Uh, if we drop down here, we're going to get to the fire room I mentioned. And uh, if we go through here to the left, we're going to get to a place where we have to jump after this item. If you did happen to fall down the hole, you'd just get to the big square room. Um, I mentioned if you went down the stairs from the bonfire where we picked up that ember, you'd be around there somewhere. I'll pick up another ember just here. And at the moment, uh, past this little room, we are going to be above the fire room. So... Uh, there's some stairs here. If we went down this stairs, we would end up in the fire room. Same as um, if we went through the alleyway or dropped off uh, the other place through the illusionary wall. Uh, or we could continue over here all the way to the end um, and pick up this item at the right, which is an ember. And if we head up these stairs just here opposite the ember, we are going to head... Um, we're going to end up where the first bonfire was to the right of the boss uh, after we killed the worm. So remember that, guys? So we've just joined the map up pretty much. So we've joined the left and the right hand side of the lake up. Uh, and there's one one more path we can take at the moment. Which is going to be through the fire room. So um, there's various ways to get to the fire room as you've already seen. But uh, there's actually a really quick way which is down here. There's another second uh, set of stairs. Uh, kind of just like the ones to our right. It's exactly the same. You get to exactly the same room and you don't miss anything. But uh, over here to the left in the far corner, there's going to be an undead bone shard. So, yeah, that's really useful. I completely forgot to clear that guy. I didn't. I forgot that he was going to fall on top of me. So that was pretty scary at the time. Uh, but anyway, uh, coming through all the way to the end, uh, the passageway in front of us to our left is the passageway that I mentioned before that we was in uh, with the illusionary wall and the black knight. So coming through here to the right, uh, we're going to come take our second right. Oh, sorry, the first right after taking another right. Uh, this wall is an illusionary wall. There's loads of illusionary walls around here, guys. And uh, over there to our right past the drop is going to be the fire room one more time. And over here near the statue, there's going to be another pyromancer tome. So down here, um, this is where we kind of get into Dark Souls 2 Iron's Keep suicide runs. i um, not sure if there's a... There's a more legit way of doing this, maybe. I don't think so, because the lava ring doesn't exist. But anyway, there's a few things we can do, because, like, the first um, the first item we just got there, we did with no defenses and no items at all. But um, I recommend getting the further, the one that's further away, uh, coming back up, and instead of taking the, the second right, uh, take a few fire defense items, put a few rings on. And um, drop down this hole and turn around and just chug a load of Estus while we're walking. As long as you've got enough, you can technically walk while you chug Estus, but whatever. You get the white hair talisman down there. Uh, anyway, we're back at where the lava was behind the illusionary wall and all that. So now we're going to come out. And uh, this time we're going to take a right and uh, take another right here. Uh, if we go left, this is where I just jumped down. Well, I jumped down the hole, but you can get there from the other side, like I said, if we don't take the right to the room with the illusionary wall. Uh, down here, there's going to be a passageway here with loads of rats. This is an illusionary wall I broke before because uh, I act, well, it was it was kind of an accident and when I was trying to kill those cursed guys. I didn't really mean to. But anyway, uh, there's a chest in behind that illusionary wall, and behind that chest, there's going to be another illusionary wall with a staff here. Uh, if we're just going to hop down, we get to practically the same place. Over here is going to be the stairs, or the legit way down. That, that Just up there is the passageway where I killed all those things and, and accidentally killed, or accidentally opened the illusionary wall. Uh, anyway, there's Titanite scale there. I don't even know what I'm saying now, guys. I, I try and do these voices in a row, but okay. Anyway, uh, before heading up the stairs, you want to come over here to the left, which is kind of a bit hidden. 
and uh, this guy will drop us the Fume Ultra Great Sword if we kill him and also his shield. So this is the same guy that invaded his last episode in the catacombs and if we didn't kill him in the catacombs uh, he would give us the ring too so you didn't have to worry about it if he didn't invade you in the catacombs. Um, over here behind the NPC there's going to be another two items in the lava, uh, one of them is an ember and we're going to get the other one a bit separately. I'm pretty sure you can get both of them. If you've got enough fire defense, maybe your armor, more Estus, something. Plus, this in this one, there isn't any enemies to stop you from walking and chugging Estus at the same time, as long as you've got enough. But yeah, once you've got those two items, you're going to head back up where we fought the NPC, and this time we're going to head up the main path, up these stairs. Uh, turn to the right. Uh, on this bridge, there's going to be a Black Knight. Uh, there's an item over here in plain sight to the right. And uh, you're just going to continue forwards until you get to this cave with a ladder. So just head up the ladder, long ladder that is, uh, head up the second ladder, which isn't too long. Uh, before going out the cage, you want to hop back down to your right, get the uh, Dragon Rider bow, and just drop down to the second set of ladders, set, you can't say set, can you, whatever, second ladder. Climb back up it, and we're going to be outside on top of the cliff. So technically our last item is going to be over here to the left, down here. And um, though there's no more items, well, obviously except the boss, so uh, there is one more important thing we need to do in this uh, in this area, and that is go over here, stick to the left, because to the right where the bone wheel guys are, there isn't anything. And we will get to the giant crossbow, or whatever was fine that is, from the top of the mountain, and we can just disable that. Uh, obviously, it kind of makes it slightly harder to kill the worm in a way, because it did actually do quite a quite a bit of damage to the worm so I kind of recommend killing the worm at the start like I did even if you die a few times it's worth it and yeah over here to the right we can just drop off these ledges until we get all the way back to the bottom of the lake where we started the level and uh, yeah the only thing now we've got left is to go and kill the boss so just go and do that get his soul and that is the end of episode 8 of our 100% walkthrough. Uh, I know this one may have been confusing in places, but uh, it was the best route I could take and the best order I could do everything in. So, so yeah, guys, uh, hopefully this was helpful. If it was, please go like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time, guys.